everyone. Hello, hello. Give it a couple minutes. Hope everyone's enjoying the weather and having a great night. Just getting my stuff ready while everyone hops on. There's the paper. For everyone that's hopping on, welcome to our, I guess, our last Tuesday of June couple more days and June will be all done. My kids are excited. Tomorrow's their last day of school. Then I have to figure out how to keep them busy. So good evening everyone. I am Darlene from the Paper Crafters Workshop. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. And I am here for our last installment of our masculine theme. So we went from uh, layouts, we went from cards, and I'm going to continue on with the trend to show you how we can, well, tonight is more of nautical cards for me and how you can use glitter or brush metal cardstock into your masculine cards. I know a few of us stay away from that when it comes to masculine cards. We think too much glitter is more a girly thing. But I'm gonna show you some of um, some of the ways I like to use it. But first I wanted to create a fun card with you and then I'll show you some examples of other um, ways I incorporated glitter or brush metal cardstock. And if you're not sure what those are, let me show you an example. So one of the things um, is glitter cardstock. One of my favorite assortment. You can tell I kind of cut through these already. But glitter cardstock is nice and glittery. These particular ones are non-shed. So no matter how much you rub on it, nothing. I do have sparkle, but I promise you that's not from here. It is from the stuff I will be showing you tonight, but as you can see, no red comes off, which is really nice. These are our non-shed glitter cardstock. I love them. They're glittery, but I know people stay away from it because they think all these glitters going to fall off, but I promise you they're really, really good. Another thing I will be using is these brush metal um, cardstock. It gives you that shine, but I also love it because it doesn't have the glitter. It gives you a little sparkle. So I'll be playing with that. And if you tuned into what's new last week, um, Sherry showed you our new addition to our store is the Gilded Touch. I will be playing with that also. I will be using this Hero Arts um, stamp set. And I will show you some of their other um, new stamps and dies that came into our store. But why not continue the trend of our nautical theme? So for everyone hopping on, I see people jumping on and saying hello. If I miss you, hello, hello, hello. If you have any questions or if I'm going too fast, you want me to slow down, just leave a comment. I am checking on and off. I know Sherry's there as well, but for sure I will come back to it at the end of my live and go through them. So first thing I wanted to do is I am going to create a scene. Um, I already pre-stamped and colored my um, images that I will be using. So here they are. And first thing I am going to do is create a scene. I am using vintage photo, whoopsies. 
and I'm going to just ink blend the whole panel with this brown. I could possibly leave the middle because I'm going to do a little tearing, but I'm going to close, um, ink blend the whole entire panel. And that way, if I wanted to use the middle, I could after. And you'll see what I'm talking about towards the end. So I'm just ink blending with my blending tool. And I would show you the final product, but I want you to see this first before I show you what we're making, because it's pretty cool. And my girls at work today agreed that this was the card that I had to show tonight out of all the other samples I did. So I'm just ink blending, especially around the edges, a little bit darker. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do as this just uh, dries a little bit and sets is I'm taking another panel and I'm going to ink blend some blue. And the blue I'm using, of course, is Uncharted Mariner, which is the new Tim Holtz color. And it's a perfect color for this nautical theme. So with this panel, it's very inky, my ink pad, I'm going to distress only the middle. And you're probably saying, what is she doing? But I promise you, this will all come together. Trust me in this process. And think of it as Hero Arts, one of their main dye um, collections called Looking Glass. Think of this as a looking glass, okay? So there's a little hint. And I am just doing inking right in the middle, depending on how dark you want your blue. So I'm just ink blending that and I'm going to wipe off my table so I don't get all this guck in my work. So we're used to distressing paper by ripping the sides, but what I'm going to do is rip the middle part as my looking glass. So what I like to do is just take a very um, sharp pair of scissors and just poke a hole through depending on how you want it. Oops. And I just do a little snip. And enough for me to put my big fingers inside and tear. So with this, I am going to tear the middle. Because remember, we're creating a looking glass. So I'm, depending on what you want your shape to be, I'm just tearing the middle and no two cards are ever going to look the same and you can always keep this middle for another project but I like that teared look and let's say I want my hole bigger then I will go in and rip some more I just want a little my looking glass to be a little bit bigger And it just gives that nice torn look. Okay, so there is this little frame of my looking glass. And now I have that blue showing through. So just something different. So tearing the edges, I tore the middle. And I think I'm just going to extend this part a little bit more. And I'm just ripping my paper. But there you go. And I like that rip look, that white part. You could ink it a little bit more, but I like that white to show because it looks like you're looking deep through inside. And then what I'm going to do is um, do my sentiment first. And with this sentiment, um, Depending on what sentiment this one has, I sure do miss you. You go gull. See you soon. Hey, girlfriend. Waving hello. Sees the day. Um, Here Arts also has a shark. Whoops. Shark uh, stamp set. And I really like the way their happy birthday was written. So I'm going to use this one. 
and use this as a masculine birthday card. And let's stamp that right in the middle. So I want to stamp the sentiment first, depending on where you want it. And I think I am going to have it right here on the top. So I'm just using my ink pad and stamping this to the top, right in the blue spot. Just making sure my ink goes down there. Oh, and then let me clean that ink off before I get my hands dirty. There you go. Okay. So next thing is the decorating. So here. I have my pieces that I am going to use. And remember how I said we want a little bit of glitter or sparkle. So I'm taking, oops, I need to remove this. I'm taking our Gilded Touch, the red. Um, red right currently is sold out. We do have um, it on its way. Hopefully it's in the box that was supposed to come today and didn't show up. But we do have uh, more of the red on order, but there is a huge selection. I believe it's 10 colors. And these are some of the colors I will be using today. And I'm just going to just squeeze a little dot onto my acrylic block. And if you are using your acrylic block because you can't find acetate or a slippery surface, um, these do dry fast. So if you're having troubles removing the gilded touch off a surface um, you can use the scrubby bar or I use rubbing alcohol and it's been working the nice thing about this is that you can use it well it's meant to be used as is but Marcy has been testing it out and she tried it with water and I actually love with water because you can use it as a watercolor paint so I'm just mixing the bread with water, I uh, might need a little bit more red there, one second. Just want a darker pigment. And I'm going to color in my lighthouse to make it sparkle. So if you want to see a little hint of what I'm doing, this is what I am going to make. So it's like a looking glass, oops, there's a shadow. So we did the tearing, we did the sentiment, so I'm just working my way down to make this card with you. So it's a reverse looking glass. So I'm just going to paint my lighthouse with this nice sparkle. Because as you can see, that sparkle just gives it a little bit of something. It's a focal point of the lighthouse, but it doesn't give too much sparkle or glitter that makes it a too girly card. And then I matte it with the brush metal red just to tie in the red lighthouse to the uh, red brush metal. But it's just that very thin hint of brush metal behind that it doesn't make it too flashy. Is probably the word I'm looking for. So I'm just going to lightly paint over the red ink here. And you want to make sure it's not too watery. If it's too watery, I'll show you my little trick. So I'm lightly painting with a thin brush. I have too much water here. I'm just going to take a little bit of my paper towel just to soak that in. And because it's water, it soaks up pretty quickly. And there you go. And then let me do the other ones here. So 
so it's just really painting which is really nice because you can do so much with this and if you see my other examples some of it I did paint and I'm going to paint the top and really you could do any color you want you could just use regular medium but I really wanted something to sparkle and be the highlight of my card so here I am painting my lighthouse and then I'm just going to quickly wipe this away if you had a um, scrap paper you could probably just um, smush this to have a background because they make really nice backgrounds too okay so I have that little stain you can it usually comes off or just you squirt a little bit of rubbing alcohol or your scrubby bar of soap and it just comes off and it's brand new eh. and I'm smudging more ink on the other side okay anyways so I did the red part and what I did was because it's flashy that I need a little bit of white to do the white part so this one I should have done first because now my paintbrush is all gucky with red I'm just squirting this little bit of white. This is pearl. And it does go a long way, so I do waste a bit. So it's nice that if you're painting a lot of cards at the same time. So here I am. Let me just do the white. Excuse my head. Very hard to paint these little spots. I'm just giving it a little bit of sparkle so that white just matches the red and I'll bring it up closer oops so if you like painting this is quite fun too glittery painting and here so let me bring this up so there is my glittery lighthouse. And then what I did with the seashell prior to is that I took the enchanted gold, which is like a very pale yellow, but I find it gave a nice um, pinky shade as well. So I just put that on my seashell. So there's a little bit of sparkle there. And then let's wipe this. So that leftover brown I had on my brush, I am, oh, my, I should have done this first. I'm just going to lightly do this bottom part with a little bit of brown or gray if you want a stone. I'm just going to do a little bit of sand because it's in the water. So I'm just taking leftover ink. So I'm going to put this aside to dry. In the stamps it has the little waves. I'm going to stamp that at the bottom just to give it some texture and it makes it look like there is real waves going. So let's add some waves. So I'm just using a little bit of amalgam ink on it. Make sure my waves are the right direction. And just a little bit here. Oh, I have ink pads everywhere. Okay. Now it comes to the fun part, which is the decorating part. So what I did with this top layer is I raised it. So I put uh, foam strips around just so it gives it a little lift above it. So very easy, goes right around. Sorry if I'm off screen, just placing foam tip all the way around. And the nice thing about these is it tears. So I'm just ripping it as I go. And I'm just putting it right at the end so that way if I needed to tuck something underneath I can still get through without ripping anything. And this one I'll cut 
that. And here. So I'm just peeling the backing and then I am going to put this on top. This is very, very sticky. And, whoopsie daisies. My hands are frozen, so this tape is not cooperating. And one more side. Okay, so. Once your framing is done, depending on how you like it, I think I like this one, I'm going to place it right on top, push it down. So this panel is a little bit smaller than four and, um, four and a quarter by five and a half because we will be doing some matting. So I wanted to show you that different looks. Let me cut the base. The base page that um base paper I used was from where is it? It's the Simple Stories Vintage Seas. It was this paper called Sea Glass in Deep Blue. I just love the multi blue color here. So I'm going to cut a piece that measures four and a quarter by five and a half because this will cover the full card front. Uh, let's see, get this way. So I'm just going to cut four and a quarter by, so that's four and a quarter, so five and a half. And do the same here, whoops. like this very intense blue Ooh, time for me lane and then I wanted to show you that different color um, whether you're using sparkle or the brush metal it will create different looks for you so with my sample one I use the brush metal but I wanted to give you a different look so here is a sparkly blue just a little bit of that sparkle not too much matted here so it just gives it a different look so what i did was i just tried different colors to see what would work nicely what i'm happy with here's a silver which i really like too just gives it a different look but it's not in your face here is the red which the red would look nice with the um this glitter red would look nice with our little lighthouse or you could do a light blue a bright blue more like it so it gives you different looks like none of them will look depending on what you put underneath because that's what kind of highlights your looking glass and then here is one of my favorites it's like a black but it has a hint of purple but even that, look how that looks. Just gives it a totally different look. So this is with glitter, but let's do the brush metal. Oh, cause that was a fun one. And so let me cut a piece of that cause I thought I had one ready, but no. So the brush metal here, I have, oh, I had the measurements for that piece. Now it's gone. Uh, Oh, right here it is the red part I measured was four by five and a quarter so let me cut a four inch piece by five and a quarter because I just want a little sliver on the sides to peek out but not too much and it gives it a different look. So let me show you a full panel. If you didn't want that dark blue in the background and you just want a nice 
shiny red. Let me see if I have enough here to do that. And I believe four and a quarter. Okay, so let's say you don't want this dark blue and you just want a nice red in the background. So that is what it will look like. I felt that it needed something a little bit more. So I made the red smaller and then put it with the blue because a lot of the nautical colors is always red and blue. And that just gave it a different look. So I kind of play around with it to see what makes it um, what I'm happy with. And I like that better than doing a full on red panel. So let me know what you think. Do you like the full on red panel or do you like that hint? Like they're pretty much the same, but this just has more of in your face and this one is just more subtle. But either way, they both look nice. Let's stay with this. So once this is done, I put this down. And the easy part is putting it together. And I thought after making this card is that I could do a looking glass, but with the shark swimming out, that would have been cool too. So this one here. Yes, the different colors does change the look. I'm trying to eyeball this left, right, top and bottom the same. Nope, I moved. There. And then you could decorate it with the bird. So with this little birdie, I have it popped up in the inside at the corner fly up. I put the lighthouse flushed, um, flat down on the back because I added water. Paper is curling a little bit. So my sample, I didn't have the sand or the rock here, but I might darken that with some Copics just to highlight the sand a little bit more. So just creating the scene, trying to see what um, works. One second, I'm going to do little sand marks to make it look realistic. Yeah. Okay, this is a rush job here. But just giving it some, to make it look more real and probably I could pick another shade and do a different color. Now what I love was this log here. So with this one here, I have it propped up as well on foam. Just, he's so cute or she. This little log, I just have it like right at the corner here. And I just puff this little dude as well. And I put the foam tape closer to his tail that's sitting on the log here. Oops. And then my seashell that has now some shimmer to it. And oops, see Daisy. Oh my goodness, one second. There. And then I just propped it the side, but for sure you can change it around to how you like. And then the shell here. 
well the starfish I mean and there you go quick and simple it would be pretty cool if I did the shark one because can you imagine the looking glass with like shark swimming across so this is one way that you can use your brush metal or glitter paper so here are some other examples that I did using. So the first card over here, okay, I don't put card bases on until I really use them, so they're just panels. So here was a card that I did tone on tone. So I used the same brush metal red, but I used the Vintage C's. It was the paper um, with the stripes on it, and this was the background, such a pretty background. But just giving that red and white ties in the lighthouse. So here you can see I used a little bit more um, of the brush metal. But I was trying to save paper so I actually cut the frame out. So this frame is just glued on top. So I actually saved the middle piece that went on my original card. So great way to save paper. Here on the water I added some... Um, pearl the gilded touch pearl just to give it some shimmer at the bottom i added the red gilded touch on the lighthouse the red and the white as well as his little um, sailor hat here and i just added that touch of gold for the sentiment from creative expression so just tying that in same idea with the background with the uncharted mariner to that first one so that was my second card. Oops, I am. And then what I wanted to try was a frame like. So here I did a slim line using the looking glass die. So the looking glass die, if you have not seen, looks like these. And what they were intentionally, what they were meant to be was you stack them and it creates a scene. So I did use them separately. And the way I got this straight was you, there's a template and then you put your die pieces, tape them down and then run it through your die cut. So it's like almost like a sequential order of a little frame. And I used the um, gilded touch, the, I believe this is the bronze can't remember what I used, uh, I believe, is this copper or bronze? Oh, uh, it's golden bronze that I used. And I used my finger and went all the way around to create that like frame, as if it's a picture frame on your fireplace mantle or on your table. So that's what I did and I puffed it up just to make it more like frame-like. So that's another way to add some metallics into it. And I also added some pearl in the background for the night sky. Yeah, it's really nice. I tried the autumn bronze first, but it was too dark. Like if you can compare, this is autumn bronze and this was the copper bronze. I like the copper bronze more. It looked more like a picture frame. And then here is the look of... This is what the looking glass is supposed to be. I, sh I think I'm going to put a foam tape down there. But you're supposed to stack it. So the back layer is the trees. The middle layer is the one with the sailboat. And then you have the looking glass. So if you stack them, it creates a scene right here. Let me just glue this lighthouse down. The beam is flying off. Let me just hold that down. So here, what I did was, oh, I should glue this whole thing down. He's popping up because I added um, water to the lighthouse to get it sparkly. So with this one here, instead of using a solid color paper as the background, I used the black purpley glitter paper, well black um, glitter, and it makes it look like a night sky with that nice beam of light showing. So here is another way to showcase using glitter, but still masculine because really look at this card. It looks like it's a night sky with all those twinkly stars in there. And if you don't like that um, border around it, you can always cut it down that only this panel has that sparkly. But I think it just ties in. 
And then I add a little bit of shimmer on that boat so it looks like there's a reflection in the water. And then just simple adventure weights or you can put a, hap a happy birthday or, you know, see you soon. <laughs> So I kept playing and you know it's a whole nautical theme and I'm like okay let's see what else. So here is one which is a cover plate and it's like more like paper piecing where you have to like you know you can take different colors and piece them together. The only paper piecing I did was on the boat and the um, these red spots here. I used the Gilded Touch Pearl on the white part. And then I ink bled the bottom and then <laughs> the heart. So this one I stack, whatever came out here, I stacked on the side and this one I just puffed it up. So a little bit of shimmer, but pretty cool card. And the, my last one, I think is a cool one. So there is another stamp set. Okay, you can tell I love nautical stuff as well as Sherry does. But this was called Message in a Bottle. So it looks like this with beautiful verses that was meant for you to put the messages in the little bottles. And this one is what I created just before I came on tonight. So I stamped, I inked, well, blend, ink blend the background, did some sand. I took um, a piece of paper, I cut my little hill to use as a little template of where I was supposed to go. I did some water and then it comes with these palm trees in the set. So I stamped it and used my Copics to color. Here I stamped out the um, lighthouse and then I used the Gilded Touch, did the same thing as I did just to add that sparkle. And then I added some of the, tur uh, I don't think it's called turquoise, it's called Misty Teal with water and I just did that little lid and I colored the cork with um, Copics. But just a simple card and a touch of that glitter and there's another card that's done. I think this will also look nice if it was on the brush metal as a background. But there you go, lots of ways that you can use glitter or anything metallic and sparkly on your cards that just a little bit of it does it make it too flashy or non-masculine? So I hope this inspires you to use a little bit more of those sparkly papers that you have at home and create something. So thank you everyone for joining me this evening and I will post pictures. I had lots of fun making these and I think what I wanna try next is similar to the looking glass that we created tonight but using these sharks swimming out. I think that would be very cool. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. So the tonight is the last Tuesday of our masculine theme. We are starting a new theme next Tuesday and we will tell you more about that in the days to come. Have a great night everyone. Bye-bye.